You look like a ghost. Well, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. We'll oh. figure that out later. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, <laughs> I am. I'm, a, I'm one of those. Uh, what's that thing in Star Wars? One of the Jedi ghosts? That's what happened here. I also want to mention this. So I have not seen this, but I have had people contact me about it. Young Rock. So Young Rock debuted on NBC. Obviously, it's a story about Young Rock, Dwayne Johnson. And the show did 5.034 million viewers in the overnights. It garnered the third highest audience for network TV on the night behind NCIS on CBS, which did 5.6 million, and NBC's This Is Us, which did 5.5 million. Young Rock did a point four in 18 to 34, a point nine in 18 to 49, and a 1.4 in 24 to 34, all second behind This Is Us. Now, if you want to compare that to the SmackDown numbers, I mean, it's going to make people mad, but the Friday Night SmackDown show, 1.99 million viewers, under 2 million. This would be down 13.4% from the previous week. Now, obviously, SmackDown was going up against the impeachment, and Young Rock was not. So, obviously, Young Rock's got a benefit there. You could pretty much throw out these, these SmackDown numbers. But point of this is, that's a good number for Young Rock. And from talking to people that saw the show, I have not seen the show yet, but they said it was a really good show. So, if you've not checked it out yet... Might be something to check out, but 5.034 million viewers in the overnights. Uh, we'll get the the final numbers tomorrow, but good number. Yeah, I don't I don't know what night is NBC's best night on primetime TV anymore. I have no idea. I know that show This Is Us is really popular. It got a lot of buzz at least last year. Again, I don't know. I don't really watch that much TV, so I'm not real sure about how it is. But they also debuted Kenan Thompson's new show last night, After Rock. So it seems to be they put it on a night where they're already doing pretty well anyway. And with it being The Rock involved, and to a lesser extent, Kenan Thompson, because he's been around forever and everybody knows him. He's 20 years on Saturday Night Live and 10 other years probably on Nickelodeon and everything else he's done. That They're serious about those shows, and with those types of numbers... That's a really, really, really good sign. So I guess congratulations to The Rock. And to a lesser extent, I guess the congratulations to the wrestling business because, you know, when The Rock started wrestling, we never would have had a show like this on on network television, at least taken remotely seriously. And now we've reached the point because of him and, and frankly, because of the way that culture has moved and has, how pro wrestling has moved forward, that we actually have a show like that. It probably wouldn't be anybody else but The Rock would be able to do it. But I think it's actually a really good thing for everybody. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.